Contrast is a game. A platformer to be exact. It even comes with puzzles. I played this game back in 2015, and though I have never replayed it since, it will still cross my mind from time to time, and I ask myself, what is it about this game? Which is why I've made the adult decision to replay one of the old games in my Steam library, instead of actually playing those games I bought during Steam summer sale years ago. The game is about a young girl named Didi, whose parents are going through a rough patch. You take upon the role of Dawn, Didi's imaginary friend, and your job is to help Didi navigate this weird world she lives in and get her parents' marriage back on track, specifically her dad, who is in debt to a couple of gangsters. I'm worried about Daddy. He always says it's okay, but those gangsters really hurt him. We have to fix the circus, so Daddy will be safe. The world which the game takes place in is 1920s fr- 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 now I know what you're thinking, but it's not that bad, I promise. First of all, not a single word of French is spoken, well unless you're a traitor and switch the language. And second of all, you actually only see two french fries during the entire game, and one isn't even real. You see, the game has a twist to it. Its world is inhabited by shadow people, including Didi's parents, and this is where the game's gimmick comes in. What makes it different from other platformers? Shadows. Dawn is able to switch into the Shadow Realm and traverse the world with the help of the shadows. For example, this broken bike can be used to get to higher ground. And this is the core gameplay of Contrast, finding shadows and figuring out how to use them to your advantage. Puzzles include moving objects around in order to manipulate light sources and create the most optimal shadows so you can proceed. Another great example of using shadows is that you can bounce on the gangsters speeding up Didi's dad, while she's watching too. I haven't played a lot of platformers, but even I can safely say that Contrast isn't a hard game. It's more casual, but that's okay. Although the movement can be a bit janky, the platforming and puzzles are enjoyable, and the world is just a feast for the eyes. The art team really hit home with the art style. It's like someone built a town in the style of posters from the 1920s, and everything from the buildings, the lighting, the sky, to the color palette, it's all so mesmerizing. And you can't help yourself but take some extra time to take a gander at every nook and cranny, or just stop for a moment and stare at the beautiful sky. It's a small world, but everything is crafted in such a loving way, and Contrast is an example of style over graphics. And before revisiting this game again, I thought my memory was exaggerating how beautiful the game was until I replayed it. And the character models for both Didi and Dawn both remind me of Coraline and that movie's characters. The world besides the shadow people also floats, and is very reminiscent of the Void from Dishonored, which came out one year prior to Contrast. Another part of Contrast is exploration, to find hidden objects that reveal more about Didi and her parents, and why the world is like it is. Why is everybody except Dawn and Didi shadow people? Is Dawn real? These are questions the game invites you to come find the answers to, and it's up to you to go and find these answers. The game doesn't feed them to you, and most importantly, you want to go out and find the truth. Besides this, you can also find luminaries, which is what you use to get power running in, for example, a carousel, so you can use its shadows to reach the top of a building. Story-wise, the game is quite simple, but endearing nonetheless. The story of Didi trying to reunite her parents is touching, and the world and its mysteries further ignite your interest. Contrast is a simple game, but why have I not been able to shake it out of my mind these past years? Because it has heart? and tries to do something new. At times it feels like the game could be more, but at the same time it feels just like it should be. There is no more for me to say other than try it out. It's only £9.99 on Steam, and you could buy it during the next sale. So please, play Contrast.